Hello, welcome to the seven pace time tracker for monday.com demo. During this recording, I'll show you the time tracker app we have today. So you can keep this in mind for early access customer testing, or when you're testing the app on your own, as always, please let us know what feedback you have as we continue to build out this product. First, let's start with a little background. Our mission is to deliver a time tracking solution with barely noticeable, deeply integrated time tracking, an effortless way to record time right where work is being done, and powerful time tracking reporting and insights in Monday boards. Now I'll show you how you can do all these things with 7Pace Time Tracker. Let's start by looking at the workspace we've created for the demo. This was built based on the 7Pace template, so it'll be easy for you to test later on. Today, we're going to think about time tracking from a marketing agency's point of view. We provide marketing services to our clients on a project basis, so we need to track how much time is being spent on each initiative. This not only helps us manage projects effectively, but also ensures accurate client billing. For that, we need to keep track of people and their rates according to their role. In Project Portfolio, we manage the list of projects together with their code, expected timeline, planned budget, and more. Each running project has its own board, identified by the project code, where we track tasks. Now that we're ready to start, let me walk you through the day of a marketing consultant working on this project. Today I finished this task. All that I need to do to track my hours is open an item view where adding four hours is just two clicks away. I don't need to find what client or project to track time to because I add my time directly where I work on items. The time I track is synchronized with the hour spent column and propagated to the parent item. If I open the parent item, I can compare actual time versus estimated time and realize that I should alert my manager because I exceeded the plan time significantly. Because it's the end of the week, I want to review my log time and fill in the gaps. I'll use my time view to do that. This object view is always accessible in the left pane of my workspace. I navigate to weekly view to see how my week was spent. I know I spent about half of each day preparing a narrative for the landing page video. How can I add my time quickly? I simply drag and drop to create a placeholder. Then I find the correct item or sub item and record time on it. But this is only one record. How do I copy it to other days? I click duplicate and copy the record to all other days using easy drag and drop functionality. This makes it quick and simple to fill out the whole week in just seconds. And if I know that Wednesday was longer, I can prolong and move the records as I wish. Work-life balance is important to me and time tracking helps me keep this in track. I take a look at my hours for the month to get a feel for how much time I spend on projects. This helps me plan for future time as well as manage time off. While checking the month, I spot a day with a suspicious, suspicious number of hours. So I expand details, find a duplicate record and correct the mistake. This wraps up our first example. Let's recap how a marketing agency would use seven pace time tracker for monday.com. First users can record time on items right where work is done in a quick and easy way so they feel at home. They can spot gaps using various calendar views and complete their whole week in just a few clicks. Finally, they can compare planned versus actual time to improve estimates moving forward. Now let's switch to more of a manager's view. As the manager of this project, I can use time tracking data to keep track of the planned budget, to find and understand potential blockers and obstacles, and to calculate the amount I need to put on invoices. Here's a quick walkthrough. Because 7Pace Time Tracker is integrated with my Monday boards, 
I can see the portion of the budget that's already been spent. I can see, I can also see cumulative changes week over week. Here I see the project is only in its first quarter, but it's over half of the budget that's already been spent. This lets me act accordingly to manage the remainder of the project. To dig a little deeper, I can drill down to particular tasks and see that one task exceeded the budget significantly. To understand how the time was spent, I open the seven paste tab on an item and I see the sub items took particularly long. I see which sub, sub items took particularly long and who is in charge of them. I contact the respective person and together we check all the records regarding this task using seven paste all time. Where time tracking data from all boards and workspaces are aggregated in one place. This provides a transparent 360 view of time spent across the whole team. We filter all work logs and check comments to understand why the task was underestimated. I can now make adjustments to the project so that the budget is either kept or we agree to increase it with a client. When a client asks me how the hours were spent, I can group records by project and export respective time entries to a spreadsheet. To wrap up the use case covered, managers can connect time tracking data with Monday boards to gather project insights and slice and dice data according to their own needs. They can also see all time data aggregated in a single place from an infinite number of boards and workspaces. Now, let's see how the magic happens. We'll walk through how the environment is set up starting with seven pace item views. These are added to items and sub items as any other item views in Monday. The planned hours used for comparison of planned versus track time is taken from a Monday field of the user's choice. No other setting is needed. People, hierarchy, and statuses are all pulled directly from Monday. My time and all time views are added as any other object view. These two views show data across all workspaces and boards by default, no setting is needed. You could have noticed that the total hours spent are visible as a column on Monday boards. We use integration recipes to enable this for items and sub items. When interviewing some of the monday.com pre-sales and post-sales consultants, we often heard that clients prefer to do the reporting directly in Monday using data from Monday boards. With this in mind, we've created an experiment where users can copy aggregated time tracking data to a Monday board and connect such exported data to other boards using automation. In this case, you can see how we match time entries with a correct rate of a person who tracked time, and we can calculate the budget accurately. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this and have this method validated by customers. Once we have data in Monday boards, we can leverage them in various dashboards and keep track of the project progress over time. This wraps up our demo. Thanks so much for watching.